So uh, in this small session, we are going to discuss about PCAP. PCAPs, it means Partners Capital Statement. In private equity business or in private equity fund accounting, PCAPs plays very crucial role. So we are going to discuss about PCAP. What is PCAP and how it works? And I'll also show you the one practical example as well, how your PCAP looks like. So let's start a PCAP statement or Partners Capital Account Statement serve as a means of communication between the equity firms, so it means investment firm and investors like limited partners and they provide detailed information regarding the terms and condition risk associated with the particular private equity investment and the statements are typically distributed to the limited partners or investors I would say during quarterly private equity reporting. So every quarter we prepare partners capital and provide it to the all stakeholders. What is the purpose of PCAP? You may expect question in your interview process. The primary purpose of PCAP statement is to ensure transparency and investor protection by disclosing essential private equity fund accounting information. Private equity firms facilitate a fair and informed investment process. PCAP Statements contain crucial details such as fees and expense, liquidity terms, appreciation or the fund and other key figures in summing of fund performance as well. So this is how or this is why I would say that, you know, uh, you would see the importance of PCAP statement. All right. So another point here, which you would see. Not point, but I would say how your pickups look like. See this, let's say there are A, A, B and uh, C, there are partners so that, you know, you can maintain their beginning capital contributions, withdrawal, salary, interest and allocation of remaining profit, right? So this one is a very practical, you know, later that you would see how we prepare it. I'll quickly not prepare, but as I said, I'll quickly walk you through the examples which I have. See this. This is how your partner statement, partner's capital statement works. See beginning of the balance, contributions, distributions, net management fees, net investment gain, realized appreciation, then your depreciation, appreciation, whatever it is, unrealized appreciation and ending balance. All that information we maintain and apart from that we also maintain the commitment summary as well. Commitment it means total amount of capital which was signed or approved then commitment called till date recallable distribution unfunded commitment and percentage this is how we maintain the data in system as well this is how we prepare the documents in systems like geneva investran and other accounting platforms also but yes so this is your pcap pcap it means partners capital book this content or information is required and you may expect a lot of questions around it how we prepare what would be the you know contents amounts and all so you may expect that and even accounting entries on each items also i hope you got my intention all right so uh, what are the challenges with regards to the partners book so if i talk about challenge let's say first challenge which i can relate so which is uh, valuation in valuation of investment in private equity investments you would say most of the product should be like illiquid and you know market price uh, may not be available readily and that's what you would see that valuation challenge as well the another one is like capital commitment and contributions tracking of um, you know capital commitment and distributions on a regular basis this can be one of the challenge as well and if you record any commitment or distributions sorry uh, commit contributions or even distributions let's say incorrectly so that might affect and that create potential risk also another one is distribution waterfall calculation to calculate distribution it's a complex process sometimes you would see difficult process as well and you won't be able to even understand how you're calculating and that also happened but yes those are challenges as i said but you might see in upcoming time where distributions capital call or and the other things that might get easier also so that depends but at the moment those are challenges then regulatory and compliance this can be another challenge 
then tax consideration fund structure right because we have like master feeder uh, composite umbrella there are a number of other structures also that might create a lot of you know complexity in this structure also and even tax treatment right location wise country wise regulate regulations also there are different different regulations also and that's what it becomes complex and even challenging to right and of course i'll tell you one accounting entry in the books of investors as well as in the books of uh, lp lp it means limited partnership firm let's say fund has received capital then your accounting entry would be uh, in the books sorry uh, investor investor invested capital or capital paid it so in the books of investor your accounting entry would be capital dis capital call a contribution or invested in llp account debit to cash account credit and uh, let's say other scenario is if investor means paid excess amount so in that case investor maybe let's say investor paid for a prepaid expense so investor can record it like capital call contributions prepaid expense account you know debit to cash account credit investor can record in this way also if if you see the scenario where capital has been paid in uh, let's say excess capital has been paid in that case right and in case of fund book you might see the accounting entry where capital call received by investors so accounting entry would be cash account debit to capital call account credit and of course your account would be like cash and capital it will affect on your nav also then apart from this the other entry let's say same entry when the excess capital call uh, received to the fund then fund will record that same entry like cash account debit capital call account credit and payable or cash in advance account credit so this is how funds records accounting entries in the books of fund all right so uh, if you are looking for some you know such a same content or course what you can do you can join my private equity accounting program so which we have where we discuss lot of things journal entries then pnl and av calculations capital call distributions their challenges so it means so many things that we you know we covered in our training program and if you are interested quickly call to this number 7387609230 and enroll for this course all right if you if you like this content please share this content with others let them also enjoy it so i'll take a leave we'll see you in next session thank you